Hi friends, if you are viewing my channel first time, please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded systems. Today we are mainly discussing about on some CAN protocol basics. Today's agenda CAN bus arbitration. We are going to learn about on complete CAN bus arbitration today and why this CAN bus arbitration is useful. For example, we have multiple CAN nodes are connected in a single CAN network and multiple CAN nodes are trying to access the CAN bus at a time for the data transmission okay we should always decide the priority okay based on this uh, bus arbitration principle we are going to assign the priority to the only one node at a time for the data transmission how we are going to assign the priority that we are going to decide in the next slides okay here can frame formats already we discussed in the previous sessions 11 bit uh, standard can frame format and also 29 bit extended can frame format we are mainly interested about on 12 bit arbitration field in the standard can frame format and 32 bit arbitration field in the extended can frame format okay mainly using this arbitration field we will decide which one having the highest priority or which one having the lowest priority okay here 12 bits uh, useful in the uh, 11 bit standard can and this 32 bits are useful in the uh, 29 bit extended can Okay, today we are going to discuss about on this 11 bit standard can frame format how we will decide the priority okay similar way for the extended can also will be having the priority in the similar way okay here standard can frame format arbitration field okay here see initially all the nodes are in the ideal state bus ideal state whenever any node want to send they should always send the start of frame sequence okay uh, with the logic zero nothing but dominant bit Okay, followed by the arbitration field 11 bit uh, identifier message identifier nothing but can id and rtr bit nothing but uh, remote transmission request bit if it is zero we are going to transmit the data from our node if it is one we are going to request the data from other node okay here mainly using this arbitration field we are going to decide which message having the highest priority okay here uh, that i am going to explain in this example and before that I am going to explain the CAN bus uh, network uh, bus logic okay here uh, let us assume here we have three CAN nodes node A, node B, node C these three CAN nodes are connected in a single uh, network okay here all are connected in a parallel for example uh, here they were designed the CAN network in the wired and logic format okay for example uh, at a time i am going to send the logic zero from the node a node b node c nothing but dominant bits all are dominant bits my bus logics becomes here dominant why because they were designed the can network in the in a wired and logic format the network okay if i send the logic zero from the all the nodes at a time then my bus logic becoming a logic zero nothing but dominance all are dominance for example whenever i sent a logic once from the all the nodes nothing but all the receive bits whenever i sent from the all the nodes okay my bus logic becomes a receive bit okay if any one uh, node is sends the dominant bit my bus logic becoming a dominant these are mainly uh, wired und logic nothing but here is a und table okay truth table of und okay if any node sends the dominant bit nothing but zero then my bus logic becomes a zero okay if you understand the can network uh, uh, wired and logic then uh, this priority of the message will be very easy for example here arbitration takes place for example here four nodes uh, out of four nodes only three nodes are trying to send the data the node d always in the receiving mode if i just to connect any uh, node that initially it will treat as a receiving node Okay, all are receiving node for example here node d is a receiving node and i am trying to send node a b c all a all the data at a time okay start of frame and also followed by the data all the data i am sending bit by bit from the all the nodes at a time so priority will come into into the picture by using this uh, bus arbitration we are going to decide which node i should give the priority okay here i have taken the uh, four uh, ids can ids nothing but four message identifier of 11 bit okay 65f and 67f and 651 7ff okay here uh, i was representing into into the binary format here f nothing but i should always represent from the uh, right to left okay here f nothing but four ones one two three four ones okay next nothing but five 
zero one zero nothing but five one one zero nothing but six six five f i was represented in the binary format similar way six seven f i was represented in the binary format f nothing but four ones and zero triple one nothing but seven and one one zero nothing but six similar way i represented six five one also binary format i am going to send the data always from msb to lsb in the can standard okay here always i am going to send the after the start of frame bit i should always send the msb bit okay here 10th bit i am sending here similar way from the msb to lsb this is a way of sending the data okay here uh, a and uh, a b c out of these three nodes only one node going to win the priority here if i check uh, here uh, here uh, the message identifier is the lowest value at the node c okay this will wins the priority why it will wins the priority now we will discuss okay initially all the start of frame all are dominant bits zero okay logic zero nothing but dominant bits if uh, anyone dominant my bus becomes a dominant okay nothing but this is also dominant okay this is anyway it is in the receiving mode if it is one means it is always receiving mode okay uh, if it is the recessive bit okay nothing but uh, receiving mode if any node initially if you connect it is always in the receiving mode here out of uh, a b c i should decide only one having the highest priority okay which is having the lowest uh, message identifier that will wins the priority why it will wins the priority now we'll see okay here 10th bit all are ones these three bits are one 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 my and logic will be one okay if i do the valid and logic my bus logic also one okay next if i send the ninth bit one 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 all are ones one 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 Okay, if I just do the und operation of my bus logic also one. Okay, this is my bus logic. This is my wired and bus logic. Okay, next if I send the eighth bit all zeros. This is anyway uh, no need to consider. It is a receiving mode. Okay, here zero uh, zero zero nothing but all are dominant. My bus also dominant. This is also dominant. My bus also dominant. Here one one one. If all are one, all are receive bits. My bus also becomes a receive bit. If I do the wired and logic all are receive my bus also becoming a receive okay next one here fifth bit we will decide the priority okay out of three okay here node a sends the dominant bit node c also sends the dominant bit but node b is sending the receive bit nothing but one logic one okay whenever uh, we send the logic one but uh, bus logics becoming a zero dominant okay here if anyone is dominant my bus logic nothing but it is dominant only Okay, here my bus logic is dominant, but I sent one, but my bus bus logic is zero. Okay, that's why this uh, node will lose the arbitration. Okay, this nodes will lose the arbitration. Why? Because we sent the logic one receive bit, but bus logic we should always check the uh, we should always monitor the bus logic also. For example, node B sends the logic one receive bit. And after sending that, it should monitor the bus logic whether it is zero or one. Okay, it is zero. That's why this lost the priority. Bus is zero, but it sends the one. Okay, that's why it lost the priority. Whenever any node sends the receive bit, but bus logic is zero. Okay, at the uh, bus logic is zero, nothing but dominant. At that time, we lost the priority. Okay, uh, that's why this B lost the priority. The bus logic becomes here dominant only if anyone dominant. Okay, next here receive, receive, receive. Okay, here no need to consider now this B anyway it lost the priority. Now we should always check the A and C. Okay, A is logic one. Okay, here it is dominant. Here also dominant. My bus becomes here dominant. This is also fine. If it is fine, I should go to the next uh, bit. Okay, third bit zero one two third bit here. Uh, here if you see one, it is zero. Here, if it is third bit, if it is recessive, one nothing but recessive, zero nothing but dominant. Okay, if any one dominant, my bus bus becoming a dominant. Okay, here I sent logic one recessive bit, but uh, my bus becomes a dominant. Okay, at that time we lost the priority. Okay, here that's why uh, A and B lost the priority. Only C wins the priority. That's why we will continue to send the data completely from the node C. Okay, whatever the can have, this can ID having the lowest identifier. That's why it will win, it was wins the priority, and it will try to send the complete data. Okay, until intermission field, and it should wait for the bus IDL. Okay, whenever these three uh, messages are lost in the previous cycle, these three are try to send no. Okay, uh, again we will try to decide the priority out of these three. This is having the lowest value. 
that will wins the priority based on this principle okay whenever we sense the receive bit but bus logic becomes your dominant at that time we lost the priority okay we lost the arbitration this is a mainly understanding of the can protocol can protocol bus arbitration okay we will understand better way using this flow chart okay first always we should always follow this process okay for example here wait for the end of intermission field here if you see when are the bus ideal only we should always send the data okay that's why wait end of the intermission field ends okay until here we should wait for the uh, next transmission okay once with it is ended then whenever the bus is ideal i am try to send the start of frame for example here uh, three nodes are try to send the start of frame at a time okay here uh, i will check whether the arbitration bit and bus logic whether it is both are correct or not here is here if you see uh, here i am transmitting bit 1 okay receive bit receive bit receive bit and my bus becomes a receive bit okay at that time my bus logic and arbitration whatever i sent bit and bus bit okay if, if it is both are equal then uh, i will go to the yes okay if both are equal i will go to here why because in the 10th bit all are ones all are receive bits then my bus becomes a receive then uh, my bus logic and arbitration bit logic both are equal then i will go to the all bits are transmitted whether all arbitration bits are transmitted no no right i will go to the next bit i will go to the ninth bit all are ones my bus logic becomes a one okay next here all are zero my bus logic becomes a zero all are equal okay here bus logic and uh, arbitration bit logic sir you both are same that's why i am going to the next bit okay until here i am going to the next bit until sixth whenever the fifth bit here i am sending the dominant bit here is a receive bit here dominant bit if any one dominant no, logic zero nothing but my bus becomes a logic zero dominant bit okay whenever i send the receive bit but my bus logic becomes a dominant here here see a uh, receive bit level transmitted by the this uh, node b okay here node b sent by the receive bit 1 okay but uh, bus is monitored by the dominant here if you see bus level is dominant why because if any one dominant my bus becomes a dominant okay that's why it's lost the arbitration okay whenever we send the logic one receive bit but bus becomes a dominant at that time this will lose the arbitration this is a mainly useful of the flow chart okay when we lost the priority okay similar way whenever uh, third bit for example node b and node a and sorry node a and node c we should decide the priority here it is a receive bit it's sent by the receive bit uh, node a and similar way node c also sent by the dominant bit if anyone dominant my bus becomes a dominant okay my bus level is dominant i send the receive bit then it will lose the priority okay this is a way of uh, uh, understanding the flow chart okay next uh, here all the bits are transmitted then only i am able to send the uh, node c message complete uh, message from the rtr bit to the complete message okay here a b are lost only c is sent okay uh, we should always understand for example whenever we send dominant bit from the any of the node but we monitor the receive bit okay then in that case we will get the bit error okay we already discussed we can also monitor the bit error in the can protocol for example whenever i send the dominant bit but i monitor it as a receive bit receive bit okay when i send i zero but i monitor as one so then i should consider it as a bit error okay this is a uh, way we should monitor the bit status okay this is a way of understanding of the can bus arbitration okay here which is having the lowest id it will wins the priority as per the can uh, networking as per the uh, can bus wired and logic format okay thank you friends thank you for watching